progress the nod. Right here. So I've stopped in the station for cappuccino. Some kind of vitamin drink. Big toast and sandwich. As I walk through the streets of um, Bucharest, trying to find the Parliament building, I have some time to kill and I intend mm -hmm. to find Old Town and get my bearings. It's quite an imposing city, very large in scale and very crowded, lots of cars, um, but quite easy to navigate it seems. Let's see. You can actually see the Parliament building looming over some trees. It looks staggeringly huge. I'm going to find a place to cross and go over and take a look. A friend of mine told me he's visited Bucharest three times and even then he hasn't quite explored the whole vicinity of the Parliament building as a result of just well, it's scale, how big it is. It looks incredible, even just from what I can see over the trees. Wow. I don't think my camera can do justice just how big. That building is. Apparently also, the heaviest building in Europe and one of the heaviest in the whole world. And this is just one angle. Am I right? The Ministry of uh, National Defence in a building that clearly remains from communist times based on the almost brutalist architecture design. And then in the background, completely different style, this such clashes between communist style and religious architecture. The how in Cluj, it seemed that every church and cathedral was having work done. Well, it's the same in Bucharest. Imagine the contract that scaffolder has. I'm just again at the perimeter of the Parliament building. It's so big that I've been walking almost a mile and I'm still, still just around the other side of this building. I tried to enter through, through a side gate and was told by the guard that I have to go to another entrance for visitors. He was polite about it. You know, well, Leopold Senghor, former leader of Senegal. Uh, this stands as a celebration of bilateral relations between Romania and Senegal. So I think we're in or near Old Town. Not in Cluj now, boy. So, Bucharest Old Town. Interesting. I can see now why my remaining friends back home told me to be careful. Already, by just 1 p.m., I had some guy come up to me all friendly. Oh, I can show you around. Don't trust anybody else in the streets. Don't trust anybody. And he was offering me all kinds of drugs and saying they can get me all the girls and all this. It's like, yeah, keep my distance from that guy. I can see this place is going to get very interesting at night time. And not in the way that one would hope as a solo traveller just trying to have fun. So I checked into this hostel where I befriended the guy in this bit of footage right now, Alex, who was working as a caretaker of sorts. Just here at Hostel Bar House. Um, we're about to have dinner. Good to see Alex the chef. It smells really good. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We've got mushrooms here, we've got peppers, we've got onions. The chicken is cooking under the pan over there. And we've got some uh, mushroom sauce coming along. Where's the beers? What is that? The beers, are they in the other fridge? Oh, he's good. In the other one, yeah? Wrong fridge. There's three fridges here. Nothing you say. <laughs> three, three, three fridges. Nothing you say, yeah? Shoriana? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Yeah, Timmy Shoriana. 
um, which is which is local beer, pretty shitty beer. And it's, it's not good. Don't drink this when you come to Romania. Eh? This is the cheapest one. It's one euro, one bottle. It's plastic, plastic, not good. Glass is good. This is Ursus. And yeah, don't make a commercial for the brands. <laughs> we don't get monies from these brands to make them public. So fuck it. Man. Yeah. Just buy a beer <laughs> and drink. So we don't get a shiny endorsement uh, for this beer here, but. We're gonna drink it regardless of um, a lack of endorsement. Yo, man. <laughs> you crazy, man. Come well, on, we're gonna do these rice balls once with. Um... With my hands, my bare hands. I wash it before, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In and, here. And with we... the rice snow, like this, you know, like the yeah. fucking guy. Like, <laughs> like salt there, yeah? Some Rice, baby. Yeah, you're, you're rice, baby. You're right. Rice, babe. And don't mess up the things. What do you want? The leg or the upper leg? This? Yeah, yeah. Move. Mmm. What do you want to eat? Um, this or this? What would you like? This. A lovely meal, courtesy of Alex. The next day, me and Nicolo, who you saw briefly in that footage, set out into Bucharest to do a bit of exploring. So, I'm stood right in front of the Romanian National Theatre um, with my friend Nicolo in tow, um, who I befriended at the hostel last night. We're off now to go find Ceausescu's palace before I leave for Brasov tomorrow. I lived Casa Ceausescu, the house of Ceausescu. Well, not quite what I expected, to be honest. Um, just nestled in the middle of some random, random street with apartments surrounding it. But you can see it's quite a grand palace, particularly for the leader of a very poor communist country at the time. I'm going to probably go and have a look inside. We've just about made it for the opening hours, so I'm going to have a little walk of the perimeter. Oh, no, we're not going to have a walk in the perimeter because it ends here. <laughs> so, at this dead end, as I was waiting for my friend to come back, I saw a door and I thought I'd try it. And it's unlocked. And here, look at this. Very opening. It's funny that you don't need... Oh, is that locked? Yeah, that's locked. It's funny that you, you can just walk in here. Like this is the yeah, yeah. this is the formal it's leaders. A, a way to uh, like uh, do the uh, to see the outside, you know. Yeah, true. But it's like no tickets, no guards. Just like walk yes, straight in. You you are not going in into the house. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. We've got the little garden, the private garden of mm. Ceausescu once upon a time. Mm. Oh, that's seen better states of repair, I'm sure mm. he didn't allow so much bird shit to remain all over the, the floors, but <laughs> he's been dead a while, so I'll forgive him. Oh, so here's a coffee shop. And here we can go. What? What? Just, you seen that? What? Oh. <laughs> Some peacocks in the garden. What? <laughs> no way. I, I, what? We have some peacocks what? watching over the uh, palace. I wonder if this was the choice of guards for Ceausescu I've seen as well. Only a few times. Yeah? Yeah. We have quite it's a few like in the England. The third time I've seen uh, one. Really? Yeah. Wow. Don't get too close, I think they can attack. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, there's one there, there's one there, there's one hiding somewhere on the other side of the wall. 
Wasn't expecting to see peacocks here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, just in the middle of the. Yeah, just walking around. Yeah, yeah. Like, as, if be, as if they've just mm. ha ha wandered in here themselves. This mm -hmm. once would have probably been quite a nice water display. Right now it's been drained. It seems as though it's been updated, as though maybe in summer they turn it on. Three. Three. Yeah, there's three of them. I think they are like female. Yeah. Because the uh, male don't have the longer uh, uh, sweep. I I think uh, ah. the You've seen peacocks less times than me, but you know much more about them than me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's good. head inside and see uh, if we can get inside the main building. Just had the guided tour of uh, Chechesk. We weren't allowed to record, but we were allowed to take pictures, so I took a few pictures. Um, it was good to see, interesting, how they lived so decadently, so luxuriously, while everybody else suffered. Their house modelled after like French royalty, and yeah, it was impressive. The tour was kind of expensive for such a brief tour. And it was like, what, half an hour? Yeah. Maybe 30 minutes, yeah. so... Yeah, 25 minutes. Yeah. It was very brief, so quite expensive for what it was, but mm. there was no option to get inside without the tour, so yeah, it, was, it was worth it. We were in the rich part of town, a lot of expensive shops and classy restaurants. Uh, Italian restaurants, Asian fusion restaurants, we've got Rolex shops and business centres, so this is definitely the affluent uh, area, I would, I would imagine, or at least one of the affluent areas. It was here, in Herestro Park, beside Lake Herestro, that we stopped for a sweet jam-covered langosh of sorts, so that Nicolo could try it. But there was copyrighted music playing and as such, I can't use the audio. So, an appropriate time for voiceover outro, given that the remaining footage I have here of Bucharest was in this park before we left for my final night at the hostel, drinking with my new friends. The next morning I would leave early for Brashov. Bucharest is a city worth exploring. Besides its gritty yet charming old town, there are numerous parks like this to enjoy. Anyway, see you guys in Brashov.